Hey everyone, Andrew Goodwin here for AGD Behind the Design. Today I'm going to talk about ADUs and uh, the reason I'm talking about ADUs is because we've been publishing and going live with a lot of our ADU design packages and I want to explain a couple things to you uh, briefly so that you understand the reasoning behind the ADUs, some of the ideas that we have, and then constructing your own. So uh, first let's start with this, uh, this pre-made notion, this kind of idea, this notion that an ADU has to be a prefabricated unit has been widely publicized by uh, a lot of different companies. And it's not to knock those design companies. We'll have a bunch of lists of those uh, companies below. But we want to let everyone know that uh, an ADU and a lot of the contemporary designs that, that people are wanting that are, that are on Dwell and on you know, uh, in Habitat and all these great websites that talk about these small spaces, but a, a contemporary or modern design, they don't have to come from a company that pre-manufactures and, and brings them to you. And the reason why we say um, it may not be right for you, though it's right for a lot of people, is because logistically, if you're too far away from a city, it might cost way too much just to bring that unit to you. It's not a cost-effective solution and it doesn't benefit your local economy. So let's take a step back and let's look at how to design an ADU for you. So AGD has three principles that we live by when we design an ADU. All of our ADUs that we've designed in the past, especially our recent contemporary ones, kind of live and die by these three things. The first thing is really talking about this idea of uh, wet spaces. Where do those bathrooms and kitchens live and how do they live together? Uh, we try to uh, put our plumbing walls really close together or back to back so that we're utilizing that space wisely. It's very expensive to have a plumber come in. Um, the material costs, the cost of that plumber. So if you're building it out, think smartly in a very wise manner. How do you put those spaces together? Is your galley kitchen right behind your bathroom? Is your bathroom and mechanical room where your hot water heater, are they centrally located so that you can get to them? So think about that, wet spaces. The second thing that we really try to do is utilize some of our uh, movable furniture, the fixtures that we want, maybe taking some of our built-ins and our furniture that, that we're putting in a kitchen or in a bedroom and making them multi-dimensional, multi-purpose. So a good example of that is how is your kitchen, if it's a galley kitchen or how is your kitchen maybe uh, built in but then has a convertible feature to create a desk space for you in the future? Or how is a Murphy bed uh, a good option for a bedroom? If your bedroom doubles as an office or a social space, why not have a built-in that's a Murphy bed that you can pull down when it's nighttime? Those are very cost effective in dealing with these really small units. And the last thing is the size of the construction material. And this really has to do with efficiencies in construction. Most of the construction material that you use in the field are built on four foot modules. You also have sticks and framing that come in eight foot, nine foot, 10 foot lengths traditionally. So when you're looking at your ceiling heights and when you're looking at your walls and how long these are, make sure that you're not designing something that is fractional or has some kind of uh, you know, three inch or maybe a seven inch uh, dimension to it. It's not effective if you're trying to use materials in a very wise manner. Uh, we say the exact same thing about tiles, if you're going to use tiles or flooring. Be really smart when you think about those spaces. And on that same line of thinking, think about a typical bedroom or a living room scenario when it comes to furniture. All right, Beds. What size of bed is it? Typically a bedroom does not want to be smaller than 10 foot by 10 foot to be multidimensional and be able to have a king size or queen size bed in it. That gets really, really tight over time, even in these small spaces. Uh, in the city of San Luis Obispo, we also have a height issue. So um, a building that's an ADU can't be over 16 feet in height without going through a planning application. So how do you use those heights to your advantage? Are you going to have a bunk space? Are you going to have a really tall ceiling for your kitchen so you can have more storage up above, maybe with a ladder so that you can grab some things? Those become really important to think about. Lastly. I want to give you a sneak peek of one of our designs. So let's take a walk through right now through the Pacific ADU. Hey 
Hey, this is Andrew from AGD coming live from the Pacific ADU that's under construction in San Luis Obispo right now. This is a one bedroom, one bath, 450 square feet. It is meant to be for those that want to invest and put more um, money into their profit or money into their projects, put um, an extra unit in the backyard for the parents, um, that kind of scenario. So this 450 square foot unit has a living room and a kitchen space. The kitchen would be a galley kitchen behind me. The living room I'm standing in with a great big entertainment wall for a TV. Uh, behind me on this door over here would end up being your uh, bedroom, excuse me, your bedroom. You can see a nice walk-in closet, big windows. And on the other side is a bathroom with a depressed shower and a toilet and a sink. Uh, on the other side of that wall there behind the walk-in closet is actually the mechanical closet and the mechanical closet is meant for your hot water heaters or your furnace. Um, so again, this is a very economical choice. It is a clean and contemporary choice where you can change a lot of the exterior materiality, the windows, the placement of things. But the floor plan is very simple and it's meant for, you know, adding a person in the backyard to rent or when family comes over, they can come and hang out. So take a look, the Pacific ADU online.